it's amazing the, the walk that I've gone through. And I look back sometimes and say, golly, I was a hard working child in, in show business. Loved every bit of it. Hattie Chatty Hattie Leeper has led a life many only dream of having. See, I did everything, two and three things at one time. And I also would write music, produce it, manage artists. I did bookings. I did it all. She started her career in radio at 14 in 1951. I was eager to learn. The young girl with the velvety voice. When they started seeing me come out after I became, you know, about 17, 18, and they say, Lord, I'm going to tell you something, girl. Say, I thought you were white. I say, why? They say, but the way you talk. Completely unaware she would make history as Charlotte's first black woman DJ on WGIV. I had no idea that the road I was traveling and the bridge I was bringing people across, I didn't have a clue that that was going to stick and it would ever become, you know, history. My family always say, oh, you got to teach school. That's what Though she would eventually teach. I also have a certificate of appreciation from Charlotte Mecklenburg Schools mm -hmm. as one of the first substitute teachers. And even open her own school, radio remained her first love. You can't look for something to come to you on a silver platter and say, here it is. You know, if you want to be this or want to be that, you got to earn it. I would answer the phones at the station. I would have a light I made to put up when you turn your mic on. And it paid off. One Saturday, they told me, say, we're going to let you make a tape of your voice. I burned that thing up. Yeah. This is WGIV, Charlotte, North Carolina, 1600 at the top of the dial. We're listening, always worth your while. From then on, the trailblazer knew no limits. I would go to um, New York, to Broadway, to uh, a lot of the uh, sessions on Benny King, Aretha. Um, I'd go to Detroit, Marvin Gaye, Mary Wells. I would go to New York when they were gonna record Patti LaBelle. But back home in the South, the harsh reminders of racism remained. We were sending all the business to these places by talking about their menus and all of this good food and all that grade A and uh, saying all these things, but at the same time, we were black. We would have to go to the back and eat. It's why she's thrilled to see so much diversity in radio and TV today. It makes my heart so happy to see our beautiful women of color on there. It's just, it's just a joy. And while she has retired from the airwaves, don't think Chatty Hattie has slowed down. I haven't stopped, you know, high heel sneakers on, baby, I'm doing it. 